Are you trying to add some consistency in the income for your nonprofit? Then setting up a monthly giving program may be the answer for you. This has helped me over the years and I'm happy to share with you how to start one today. My first assignment in development was to grow a monthly giving program implemented by our nonprofit a few years prior to my arrival. The program was entitled The Penny Plan. The Penny Plan was started by Philadelphia insurance mogul Art DeMoss, who volunteered a portion of his time every month to our organization. His goal with the program was to fund the salaries and expenses of our staff as we expanded internationally. As a concept, the plan was for a donor or partner to give one penny to, for every international staff member. At that time, we had 1,500. In 1985, when I assumed the role, that was a challenging but not overwhelming goal for most individuals. As a benefit for being a member of the penny plan, we offered regular communication in the form of newsletters and emails didn't exist at that time, as well as small gifts of appreciation throughout the year. However, as the number of international staff grew, so did the financial commitment. Within a short time, we had 5,000 staff in an entry level of $50 a month. By 1987, that amount was a difficult entry level amount for an average donor. We had to change the program format and concept from one penny for individual staff members to a broader concept of helping international staff with their greatest needs. We changed the name of the program to Great Commission Ministry Partners and added a bronze, silver, and gold level with each level receiving added benefits based on their gift and qualifying level. The program took off and still exists today in a slightly modernized format. One of the biggest challenges a nonprofit leader faces is the ebb and flow of income. There are times of the year when it can be feast or famine. Some months like year end can be wonderful as bills are being paid and projects easily funded. But other months like summer months can be difficult as donors go on vacation and travel and forget the importance of giving to their favorite charity. Leading to challenges making payroll and other important expenses. Finding consistent income streams take the pressure off of decision makers. A monthly giving program is the answer. Here's the lessons learned when I started a monthly giving program. Lesson number one, there must be a desirable cause concept. Having a program or project that warrants regular giving and people desire to give is very important. Helping to keep your doors open is not a strong enough concept for which to give. Most donors or partners give sporadically one, three, five, eight times per year, usually responding to direct mail appeals. Having a cause that strikes a chord with a donor and gives them a reason to give regularly is important. Child sponsorship, missionary sponsorship, and adopt-a-cause efforts are all very good for connecting donors to something needing consistent giving. Lesson number two. There must be a strong brand and marketing. When American Express first began as a fledging credit card company, not the $56 billion company it is today, its advertising slogan was, Membership has its privileges. Each card had a membership since date on it. The first company to do so. Now, every card has that date on it. When they started their ad campaign, the slogan, do You Know Me ran from 1974 to 87 and featured individuals whose names you knew but not by face. In 1987, the ad campaign switched to the slogan, Membership Has Its Privileges, and featured high-profile celebrities who held up their cards with the Member Since date on it and highlighted the benefits of membership. The campaign won numerous awards, but more importantly, it captured card members that now total 56 million in the U.S. and 65 million internationally. In the early 1980s, every person of influence involved in faith-based organizations wanted to hear about and qualify to be part of a giving program entitled History's Handful. This was the brainchild of Bill Bright, founder and president of Campus Crusade for Christ. 
From its inception, it became one of the greatest marketing commitment clubs ever produced for nonprofit giving. That name and brand alone was a magnet for anyone wanting to make a lasting impact on our world. It was an unbelievable product to market, just like the American Express Gold Card became an exclusive product. History's Handful became an exclusive club. Membership was limited to 1,000 members, each making commitments to give $1 million to the kingdom in a lifetime, totaling $1 billion. And just to put that in perspective, $1 million then would be like $10 million or more in today's dollars. No nonprofit leader at the time had ever attempted a campaign to raise $1 billion, but the fact that it was an exclusive club and that no one had done it before made it wildly successful. I had the privilege of being involved in the early phases of History's Handful, and it was extremely rewarding as people stepped out in faith and made sacrificial commitments to change history. I'm not saying to create a name and a marketing strategy that has as its goal to change history, but having a name and strategy to make membership desirable and worthwhile is extremely important. Lesson number three, there must be attractive benefits to membership. The funny thing about the American Express Gold Card, just as many exclusive clubs today, was that you paid a much larger annual fee to have the privilege of using this card. But business clubs are a burgeoning business. Every airline, rental car, and hotel chain has a club structure, all touting the benefits of membership. We're now used to every club having its perk and benefits of membership. That's how they compete with other clubs. There are booming social media sites attributed to collecting points and how to maximize those points. Airlines use first-class upgrades as a perk or even boarding the plane sooner as a perk. Hotels use room upgrades or discounts on hotels, restaurants, or access to concierge services as perks. Of course, your nonprofit can't begin to compete with the perks offered by for-profit companies, but your club needs to include desirable or attractive benefits. Now, when I say desirable, that means benefits that are actually, well, beneficial. If you have one of the best resource libraries on a topic in your area of mission and offer free access to that library or discounted prices for books in that library as a benefit of membership, that may be desirable. Or if you have events that normally cost a fee but offer those as benefits for membership in your giving program, that might be desirable or you could offer those benefits as at a discounted price to some and charge with a larger amount or donation to your organization. I've offered plaques, certificates, and pins when lapels were this wide as benefits of membership. I've offered devotional books or other monthly resources. Again, give them something that truly seems like a perk for giving. Generally, benefits build on each level. Your basic level may give one gift and one communication piece. The next level would include those items and a discounted item from your library. The next would include everything from the previous level and free admission to an event or activity that your organization does. A good rule of thumb is that the complete annual gift package should not be more than one twelfth of their giving, essentially not be more than their first monthly donation. So 11 twelfths is going to direct program efforts. Lesson number four, there must be requirements for membership at various entry levels. It's important that you establish criteria for who can become a member of this giving program. Will this be a program made up of those who give monthly or annually or both? And at what level will different people enter in at different levels depending on a gift size? Normally, a good entry level is between $50 and $83 a month or $600 or $1,000 a year. 
That could be considered your bronze level or whatever pattern or theme you want to use. 84 to 149 per month or 1,000 to 1,800 per month could be your silver level and 150 to 499 a month or 1,800 to 6,000 could be your gold level and 500 or more per month or 6,000 6, a year could be your platinum level. You could consider grandfathering someone into the program at a particular level based on their past giving at that level or you could challenge someone to move up a higher level of giving depending on the capacity of the, don of the person. In addition to or instead of, you could challenge new donors to be, be a member by making a commitment at the levels mentioned. These kinds of programs are beneficial for keeping or lifting current donors to a specific level of giving, but also are good for winning new donors to your organization. Giving programs can be an effective way to build loyalty, consistency, and commitment within your donor base. If you haven't already created a giving program, don't delay. Do it now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there were things you especially liked or if there are topics you'd like to address. And let this community of life chamber changers know you're part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you wish to follow me on Instagram, go to Jim W. Dempsey, or if you have questions, go out to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you wish to be part of a community of like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. If you want to know what to do and what to say on an appointment with a major donor, watch this new updated video and get your development efforts to the next level. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.